The rest of the patterns in this section are concerned with getting back from the handshake handhold to an open position so that we can get on with the dance or have some more fun doing other patterns. The first one we're going to do is called a split overhead. It's a six count pattern and it's really nothing more than an inside roll. Looks like this. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. While the inside roll was discussed already in level one, we're going to go over it very briefly because this is a somewhat different pattern. Ladies, as always, starting with your right foot, you have two walking steps forward. One, two. On counts three and four, ladies, as you're tripling down the slot, you're going to rotate to your left 90, 180, then another 180 degrees. Three and four. Finish the pattern by turning to face the gentleman or opening up slightly as you triple five and six. Note that sometimes during your anchor on five and six, you will be required to keep moving away from the gentleman. The gentleman's footwork for the split overhead is nothing more than the footwork for an inside roll. However, we will review this as well. Gentlemen, on count one, hook the left foot behind the right and rotate 90 degrees. On count number two, step together with your right foot. Tap in place count number three. On count number four, get back into the slot with your left foot. And on five and six, a special note, you may have to triple slightly away from the lady in order to achieve full extension. This can be done either by rotating to face the lady or by simply just tripling side together, side on five and six. Please make a note that at the end of the triple, you should turn back around to face the lady so that you can be ready for the next pattern. Now, while the split overhead is one of the most effective and dynamic patterns that I've seen in the dance, the lead is incredibly simple. Gentlemen, just like on the single double that we just covered, bring the lady by your left side on counts one, two, as you ask for the left hand. One, Two. On count three and four, gentlemen, you're going to take both hands over her head evenly, keeping them close together, and at the end of the spin, simply take your right hand over your head as you take the left hand over her head. At this point on count number four, gentlemen, release both hands as you triple away. Ladies, you can also help in this matter. Five and six. Going over the pattern once, using your footwork counts. Gentlemen, please make a note of one thing. When you do spin the lady, you do not want to have your hands apart, nor do you want to bring the left hand down just to raise it up again. It's an awful lot of work for a very limited amount of time. Keep the hands together. Let me show you once. Keep the hands together as much as possible, and then just split them at the end of the pattern. Simple six counts. Let's go over it with the footwork count. Ready? And walk, walk triple step, triple step. Using the pattern count once, we have one, two, three, and four, five, and six.